This is the meat I'm gonna be using. It's ground beef, um, one pound. Special thanks to the gentleman who always gave me a genuine advice about handling my knife. <laughs> I read somewhere, I can't remember which video but I read in the comment section that it's so dangerous how I handle my knives or my cutters. I know I'm not pro, I'm really trying my best. I hope it doesn't scare you. Trust me, I also really do pay attention when I'm cutting because I don't want to cut myself that would be enable me from going to work <laughs> and I can't afford that so. Salt and pepper. So that you can see how much I'm going to put here. That's how much I am going to add into the meat. Next is sold. I want to also show you how much I am going to put. Okay. Looking good. Now I'm going to add one egg. So this is what we are going to use okay with the minced meat crack some eggs maybe that 
that's enough <laughs> we'll see we'll add some more later if it doesn't and then maybe I'll use my hand let me wash my hand quick I just use the um just use this <laughs> whatever right we can continue and mix this up This should be good enough. Okay, so we'll start frying. Turn this on. Okay, so let me just grab some oil. So we're gonna start cooking and I'm gonna be using this oil. That's enough. Just like this. Okay. I live near the airport so you hear a lot of airplanes every time I'm filming <laughs> just in case you are wondering Okay, last one. Yay. Okay. Wash my hands. Let's start frying.
poquito. Okay, I am going to fill this up with water. I almost burned it guys but it looks like it's a bowl I don't want to throw it so it's just a little bit more dark but I'm pretty sure eh, sorry let's see inside see Oof. it's not burned inside guys when i'm cooking look at all the mess i made <laughs> and the one's gonna clean that but me also so i wanna go ahead and sweep the floor
then I'm gonna add my meatballs now. It must have been love, but it's over now. It must have been good, I lost it somehow. It must have been love. Okay, so now I am going to add the broth, um, beef broth. Here's my curly parsley. I'm gonna cut this and cheese I am going to use okay guys I'm gonna add this so let's add some cheese just add all of that I am going to add It looks like I added a lot of beef broth. Now I am going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Just this much. Alright everyone, I think it is time for our taste test. Mm, isn't it yummy looking? But I am going to add a little bit more of um, my favorite cheese. A little bit more of cheese. Wouldn't hurt. Right? Mm -hmm. Yum! 
let's eat mm. first bite meatball for all of you and some of the noodles mm. Mm. I'm hungry guys I'm really starving while I was making this my stomach was growling. <laughs> there you go, guys. <laughs> uh, I might put the ingredients in the description box because I totally forgot where I saw this recipe. But if you want to try them, you can find the ingredients that I used to this Swedish meatball pasta. Mm. I will end the video here and I want to say thank you to all of you for watching this video and I hope you like this recipe. Give this video a thumbs up, share, subscribe if you haven't yet and I will see you guys on my next upload. Stay safe. Bye. Mm.